Okay, so finally the video is gonna be out. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show how to install the the face, the deep face that you showed that you saw before in the video when I upload uh, in 2020. It's been a while now, uh, but basically this one is a easy installation. It took me like two hours to put everything in place for you. So if you have uh, a Windows 11 and Nvidia RTX GPU, this should be pretty straightforward. You're just gonna copy and paste. Uh, the things that is on the link, but also with this video you just follow all the way and you should be able to have um, The software up and running Okay, so for this we're gonna need uh, the first thing is you're gonna open the link to the github repository for those that do not know uh, What is a github? It's just like a Facebook or uh, Kind of a social media I would say for developers So everybody put the code over there and that's when you're gonna get the code from now, a few requirements need to be installed. So once you open the, the link, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna start following the specs. The first thing is requirement. You need an RTX uh, video card, at least with eight gigs of memory, because you want to have a good frame rate. If you run this thing on a CPU, it's not gonna perform well. So the GPU is the best, uh, give you the best quality in terms of frame rates, because you want like 30 frame rates in order for the software to run properly. Then you have uh, a six core CPUs. In my case, I have an eight core CPU and 16 gigs of RAM or more. It may work on 8, but I didn't try yet. Okay, so a few things you need to install first, like any other Windows software. The first thing is install Git, and what you're gonna do, you just click on here for Git. It's gonna send you to the Dropbox. You download that file. I already did it, by the way. You download that file, and then it's install it as a normal uh, Windows software. You next, 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 you install the software. Same thing you're gonna do with Miniconda. So these are the requirement software need to be installed for this to run. So second is Miniconda, the same thing. You're gonna click open. Again, a Dropbox folder, download the software. It's an exe file, then install it. The th third thing is, since you have an NVIDIA RTX for any kind of this software to work, you need to install CUDA. CUDA is the uh, software for, for the chipset that you need to run this kind of software. So you click here, same thing. And this time, instead of sending you to Dropbox, what it's gonna do is gonna open an NVIDIA website, which everything is selected for you, so you don't have to click on anything. You just scroll down, and this is the uh, CUDA version that we need, 11.7. So you scroll down, click download, and then you're gonna install the software as the, after you download. Like any other NVIDIA software, like the driver, you just click next, 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 reboot the computer after installing the CUDA driver, that's very important and then you go back to the same link. So you restart the computer, you run the link again, now we're gonna go to this step here. For this step, after you install Miniconda, you need to open the software. So for that, we're gonna click on the search and we're gonna look for Miniconda. It's gonna appear here, you just open it up and then you have a terminal. And every time I refer a terminal, this is a terminal. Now make sure that you are on Miniconda, you're gonna see it here on top, it said Miniconda. Okay, after that, we're, gonna, uh, we're just going to start copy-paste all the comments that we got here. First one, we're going to clone this repo, and for that, you copy this command, and then right-click here, and it will automatically copy it to the terminal. Once you have that, press Enter. And then in my case, this destination already exists because I already have the file, uh, the folder installed. In your case, you're just going to download the folder. So next... Just copy paste this command here. We basically, we're gonna go to the folder, enter, and as you can see here, it changed the path. So we before we were on this one, now we are inside the folder. Now that we are inside the folder, we're gonna keep going down. And the third thing, and the most important, is to download the model. Now the model is the deep learning uh, model that creates, that makes this thing to happen, make these things real. So for this same thing here, you're gonna click open link, and you're gonna download the model. So that should be pretty fast. Uh, my internet is like 500 uh, megabytes, so it takes like one minute. Okay, now this step is very important. You need to locate the model, probably it's gonna be in your download folder, and then put them inside the folder that we just uh, created. So the Avatarify Python uh, YouTube folder, okay? So for that, we're gonna click here, show in folder, it's gonna be in your downloads. And for the downloads, you're gonna copy you're gonna copy this uh, model, Control C, and then we're gonna locate the folder. In my case, uh, the the folder I download is on C, Users, and then inside my user, if I go down 
I can see here that this is my folder. So I go inside the folder and I'm going to copy paste. I'm going to paste the model right here. As you can see, I have it on my folder and I didn't extract it. So you don't have to extract it. And I explained that on the text. So once you do that, you're going to go back to your terminal when you had it before. So you never close it. You have it go back there and then you're going to run um, this script here. So installing the app now. You click on down. So we download the model, go to installing the app. This is basically if you're not in the folder, this will take you to the folder on the terminal. And then we're going to copy this command here and we're going to paste it. And this command is the one that we use for the installation. Okay. So press that, enter, and it's going to start doing a bunch of things. Just wait until the end and you should have uh, everything successful. This is going to take a few minutes. Okay, so after the installation is complete, you're going to see here that's successful and install all the packages. You don't need to worry about that. So next, now that we have everything in place and installed, we're going to finally launch the app. So just copy and paste this command here and this should launch the app. Make sure that you have uh, a camera connected to your computer. In my case, I have a webcam, very cheap uh, $30 webcam Logitech. So just click that. And it's going to start doing the app. It's going to load in the predictor. It's going to load the model. And then now it's going to look for cameras connected to your computer. You should have only one camera and you should not have uh, that camera being used with any other software like OBS or um, Zoom Open or anything like that. So here we are. We got the camera. And then now what, uh, what you have to do is fit face in, re in rectangle. So go there. Position your face. Look at the camera straight with your eyes the camera and then you're going to press X on the keyboard. So once you press X, it's going to open already uh, a picture. So there is a folder with multiple faces that you can have there that are pre predetermined. So for example, if you want to swap between the faces, you just go and press number two, for example, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. In that case, that image that you see right there is an image that I create with a stable diffusion, which is a different model for creating images. If you want to know more about that, let me know in the comment below. Um, but basically, that's an image that I create. And now I can use the image to uh, move around. Now, the feature that you saw in my first video, when I download an image from the website, uh, to it, it was a website that, that you create random person. So you, it will create that person, which it doesn't exist. It's created by deep learning. And then I use that picture to use it here. Now, that feature is already implemented on the app these days, and it's very easy to use. In this case, for example, I'm going to run the I on the on the keyboard that tell me my frame rate. So as you can see here, I'm running at 30 frame rates. And if I go to my video card, you can see it's being used at 72%. And here's the megabyte, the gigabyte. This is an RTX 3090. It's almost half of that video card is being used. And we're using like 72% of it. So you can see how powerful uh, this model is and we'll take the car. Uh, so there's all the models online that you can see that use CPU or the phone, but never it's not going to be so powerful like this one in real time, what I can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a random person. So basically what that, what that I explained to you around uh, about the website is going to happen the same thing here. For that, if you, pre you press Q on the keyboard, it's going to automatically look for a person which doesn't exist. This person doesn't exist. It's created by AI. Right. And then automatically you can use it in your um, in your application. You should not go back too much because, it, it, you know, that's what happened to the to the picture. You can go closer. That's fine. You, you should know, you know, how to limit yourself and then move your eyes. In my case, because I'm using glasses, it's not so powerful. So if you're not using it, the eyes will be better uh, contact, for example. Now, if I press Q again, you have another person and you can keep going and keep going. I will create. Uh, multiple persons okay, like this one, for example. All right. So once you close the app next day, let's say you want to run the app again. The only thing you have to do is you go back to the folder. Uh, you go to the Miniconda, for example, Let's say tomorrow you want to open the app again, go to Miniconda. Then here you're going to go to Avatarify. 
we're gonna copy the the path to the uh, the app then once you are inside just launching the app so launching the app just click uh, here copy the command to launch it and then it will launch the app again okay it usually takes a few minutes uh, to launch at first but once it's up and running you should be fine so same thing, we position our face to the camera, press X, and that's it. We're going to create a random person. And then now I'm going to use this person uh, to use it in OBS. If you go down to the to the, to the the guide, you're going to see that you have uh, all the keys that you can use and control. Uh, down here, we explain how to use it with OBS or use it with uh, Skype, Slack, Zoom, any other kind of uh, confer conferencing software. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to let this open. And now we're going to open OBS. And we're going to create a new section here. So example, add a camera. Video capture, window capture device. And then window capture, we're going to select. As you can see here, it's going to appear. It's going to tell you Python EXE avatar if I automatically pick it up. So there, I click OK. And now, as you can see here, I can do a video uh, showing that face and talking there, which is actually not me, right? And uh, the same thing is going to do for Skype or Zoom, any other conference software. You're going to select the camera. And for that moment, you're going to see that it's going to appear the Python Avatar 5 OBS, OBS Virtual Camera. And what's going to happen, it's going to take the camera created in OBS, and then you can use it in your Zoom uh, meetings. Okay. You can use it in your Zoom meetings or any other conference software. Okay, I hope I hope this helped. Uh, I tried to make it easier as possible for you. Uh, it just should be just copy paste. If you have any problem, any comments, leave it on the comments below. And let me know if you want to know more about Stable Diffusion, which is the new AI model that we create that is created to um, generate images online, which is pretty cool. All right, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one.